Nigeria joins the international community to mark this year's World Refugee Day with the theme, We Stand Together with Refugees and IDPs. Well, this is to draw the attention of the world to the plight of displaced people globally. And Juliet Obata reports. Aisha Kalidu is a mother of three who is currently preoccupied with how to feed her kids, provide shelter and medical care for them. She fled her home in Bama, Bronu State, when the community was attacked by Boko Haram. Aisha is one of the 15,000 internally displaced persons who are presently residing in Lagos, Nigeria's southwest. The record of the IDPs we have in just Lagos alone, we have almost 15,000 IDPs. And most of them, they are just, we are scattered. Almost 27 local governments, when we are just managing, we just take this one, put this here, and put this one. So, please, we are, we are just appealing to the federal government or the state government to give us the place to be managing. And some people, they don't even have something to eat. About 1.8 million people have been displaced in the northeast from the six-year-old insurgency in the region. Thousands of refugees from other African countries are also seeking asylum in the country. Nigeria ranks third in the list of countries experiencing humanitarian crisis globally. Now, the UN Refugee Agency is concerned about this development and is partnering with other agencies to seek a lasting solution to the crisis. All together, the government of Nigeria and the humanitarian need to work to improve access to health in uh, the area. But uh, this is uh, also uh, linking to the security situation. Uh, to be able to work and to live peacefully, security have, be, have to be uh, achieved in uh, those areas. And this is one of the uh, main challenges now. Victims of children and women trafficking belong to the category of returning refugees and IDPs in their need of reintegration and protection. It is the responsibility of NAPTIP to prevent the trafficking of Nigerian children, both within and outside the country. And this prevention is carried out through sensitization. We go to schools, we go to public places, town hall meetings, even printing of posters. We've been able to benchmark punishment with the new law where traffickers are now sent to prison without option of fine. The World Refugee Day 2017 aims to assuage the sufferings of people who were forced to leave their homes because of war. The United Nations High Commission for Refugees continues with a global campaign of drawing international attention to the plight of the displaced because it believes that all refugees and IDPs deserve to live in safety. Its call to action is... Let's stand together with refugees and IDPs. Juliet Obata, TVC News.